We're heading out on a pretty exciting adventure right now. We are going for a 69 mile bike ride. I'm with Matt and Chase, and you may be wondering why we're going for a 69 mile bike ride. Well, outside of the simple fact that we're basically just grown up children, today is day 69 of riding bicycles in a row. And so we had to celebrate that in a big way. We're heading up to Fort Collins to visit our friends over at Brave New Wheel Bike Shop. So let's, uh. Start headed north, boys. When's the last time you rode this distance? Uh, the last time I rode a distance like this, probably like four or five years. Matt. Never. Yeah, never ridden a distance like that's what this. I'm talking about. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We're mostly riding on road, right? Yeah. Um, so that'll be interesting. I've never really ridden too much road. Um, you are pretty well versed in it. You've done some pretty big rides. Yeah, it's been since like September, though, that I've been about this distance so it'll be a big day for me still heck yeah what's what's the furthest ride you've done let's just set the tone so in, the people know in a single day or like a multi-day let's say single day and multi-day biggest ride in total okay. on a single day single day longest i've gone is 186 miles oh. and, <laughs> and, uh multi-day I, I did 658 miles this last summer over six days wow so. All right, well, we're getting you warmed back up for doing more of that this year. Yeah, because that's the plan for sure. Heck yeah. Well, I'm excited to try and tag along on some of those adventures yeah. too. Let's see how it goes, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, guys. <laughs> We're a little over 20 miles into the ride so far. It's all been on road, but we just hopped on a trail, which is a connector between Loveland and Fort Collins, Colorado. We stopped for a little bathroom break. Chase is having some interesting issues with his bike that we haven't quite diagnosed yet, but he's got a little bit of a knocking going on. We're hoping it's not too serious. Yeah. Um, we're about 15-ish miles out from the bike shop, so hopefully everything stays together. We have some tools, if not, but yeah, it's going good so far. How are you guys feeling? I feel great. Heck yeah. The temperature's awesome. Yeah, it could not be better. Like right now it's probably 40 degrees out, beautiful sunshine. There's not a cloud in the sky at the moment. We're just enjoying the day. So we're gonna hop back on this paved trail over here and continue north. 44.7 degrees. 44.7, wow. So we're like- This one, the 20th. This weekend, so tomorrow oh, is time week. change and then oh, spring okay. equinox is the 20th or the 21st. So spring is in the air for sure. Yeah. yeah. Birds are flying around, they're tweeting. I like it. It's great. Good day. Yeah. All right. Oh man, tomorrow's the time change. So yeah, I'm so sweet, psyched for the time dude. change. Extra hour of that sunlight. Is, you know what that too. means, right? More uh, bikes. We've got more bikes to ride. An extra hour to ride bikes. I like All that. Party. We're having a lot of fun right now. Again, this path is absolutely incredible. Fort Collins really does do it right. As you guys know, we talk about Bobcat Ridge, mountain bike trail that's just west of here, one of our favorite trails. I really love coming up here. But yeah, we've made good time. We're about two hours in and probably within two miles of our destinations. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't come up here enough, man. So Gotta good. Do it some more. It's great up here. And we're really close to Brave. I love it. I can... That's a good thing because my bike is like telling me, hey, man, you need to pay some attention to me. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't do like a little once over last yeah. night. Even hey, Matt. Good. He... Yeah, yeah. Matt cleaned his up. Uh, it was running good last time I rode it, and I just kind of figured, but that's a, that's a good lesson. 
It's not me this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Spot. Tire ride down that? Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. We're supposed to turn. Ah. Sorry, I thought you knew. No, I did not. <laughs> I almost just took Chase out. Oh my God. <laughs> Poor Gosh, that was crazy. <laughs> As we're pulling up to the shop, I just take Chase out and ruin the day. Oh, but we've officially arrived. It's a brave new wheel. What's our moving time? Uh, two hours and nine minutes. All right, so we did. It's not bad. What is that? Almost 32 miles in that time, which is pretty sweet. We're gonna go in here, hang out with the boys. Then we're gonna find somewhere to grab lunch, maybe grab a coffee and uh, probably point it back that way. We've got Supercross to watch tonight, so we're on a little bit of a time constraint to get back to Longmont, but for now we're cruising because we made such good time. Yeah. Chase's first time at Brave, what do you think, dude? It's pretty cool. I, I'm building up a new bike right now, and so it's always dangerous walking into a new bike shop, and there's like a cool mix of like mountain bike, uh, like cool, like classic gravel and road bike stuff here. So there's a lot of parts that I've, I'm, I've been eyeballing for a while and it's gonna be dangerous to walk yeah. out of here. This thing is the sick, I've, my personal favorite right now in here, look at this. Beach Cruiser Resta Mod with the coaster brake. Oh yeah. Shout out, shout out to our friend, Will Bender at Bender Bikes for this beauty right here too. I mean, this is the whole reason to come into this shop by itself. Yeah. Take a look at that thing. Start the party. <laughs> we parked our bikes at Brave, which is just right there. And we ran across the street to grab some lunch at a cool little taco shop. We got some chips and salsa, got some margaritas coming. We're gonna fuel up for the ride back home. It's a feast. It's a party. We wrapped up lunch. We grabbed some coffee. Now we're heading back over to the bike shop to grab our bikes and get back on the trail home. You know what, that coffee shop's good. Could really benefit if they use traction coffee uh, as their go-to coffee. I, I, I'm just saying, I think like any shop really would benefit from traction coffee as a wholesale partner. You know, I would have to agree with that. There's, some, there's an email in the description that you could reach out to if you're interested in that. He's not lying. The bike is pedaling smoother. <laughs> Back on the trail now, headed back south towards Longmont. Still an insanely beautiful day. We had so much fun hanging out in Fort Collins, hanging out with the homies over at Brave New Wheel. Shout out to them for letting us crash their shop for a little bit and just have good conversations. Ran into my good buddy, Rick. Yeah, special day, man. Great. And now we're back out in the sunshine. Observatory, I guess. This thing is cool. On our way into Fort Collins, we passed this structure that kind of looked like a bunker, and we were so curious what it may be. And we were heading back out of town, and we looked over and we saw it, so we figured we'd pop over and check it out. And it's like a little observatory. Pretty cool, and it looks really like a World War II bunker that you'd see. Pretty crazy. <laughs> we just crested the two-thirds completion mark of our ride. Everybody's feeling good. We have a little bit of a headwind, but otherwise... After the last two weeks that we've had in Colorado, this is not a headwind. Yeah, I can't even feel it, you know? Yeah, otherwise we're just cruising and uh, enjoying the sunshine still. Yeah! So our route, <laughs> our route to and from Fort Collins past the skate park, like within maybe half a mile. So we figured it'd be rude to not pull over and do a couple things at the skate park mid ride. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Oh. Oh. Jeez. All right, first lap. That was proper. I don't know how to follow that. Can you give us a nose wheelie somewhere? Not in here, but like over there. Nose wheelie somewhere, yeah. Nose wheelie would be sick. I'm gonna do a little bull run. 
Oh, why is this so scary? Oh my goodness, oh, you guys are boosted. Wow. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I got another idea because the problem with stuff like that is like there's nothing to do it into. Yeah, that's that you went all the way to the G out, which was sick. Let me try to do. Yeah, let me try. All right, give it to us. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think that uh, concludes the session at the skate park. We're gonna get back on the road. <laughs> skate park session was short-lived, but you know. a success. Yeah, so much fun. The guys at the park got a kick out of us riding gravel bikes in there. Yeah, we've got, I don't know, what, 19 miles. We've got 19 miles back to Longmont to finish crushing out now. We just rolled over 57 and a half miles. We've got a tad bit of a headwind still rolling at us. So we're kind of waiting right now for Matt. He had to slow his pace up a little bit. We're on uh, far better setups, but uh, yeah, he's a trooper, man. He's crushing, he's not too far behind. There he is. <laughs> Yee -hoo! I'm not stopping, I can't stop. <laughs> he can't stop. The wizard cannot be stopped. So yeah, we're just taking in the beautiful views and we're gonna get back on the road. We'll check back in a little ways down the road. We're on the home stretch of the 69 mile ride. We're posted up here, just refueling on snacks real quick. Matt is coming down the hill right there. I think we just rolled over 63 miles wow. so yeah we're cruising man it's awesome i'm feeling great this is not the typical kind of riding that i do but i'm having a lot of fun so with that being said get out there and try something different man like bikes are so much fun especially on a beautiful day like this it's hard to have a bad time <laughs> yeah guys i can't stop smiling straight up <laughs> Oh yeah, and look at that. That's the goods right there. Sixty-nine miles, baby. We did it! Yeah! <laughs> Jeez. Yes, boys. Holy we officially clicked it off. 69 miles for 69 days of straight bicycle riding. Wow. Congratulations. What that was day. amazing. Thank you guys for jumping in on this last minute crazy idea. Okay. That was so much fun. Me and Chase, while we were riding, we thought of something that was really cool. Um, we have like three tiers of bikes here. So Chase is on basically like the machine for this type of mission. Yeah. I'm on like a middle tier of bike, which is this Fairdale here. Gravel bike, 27.5 wheels, some thicker tires. And then Matt's on like a townie rig. Matt won the day yeah, on this I thing. Yeah, the rig. Yeah. Everyone wants this rig. This yeah. is the people's champ. <laughs> He's got the antler set up. <laughs> hey, these came in dandy, right? Actually, like, there was a couple times where I just stretched out and could focus on some pedaling, and it was good. I think the point is, though, that, like, we're on three different tiers of bikes that uh, 
handle this type of riding in three different levels, but we all had the same amount of fun and did it together. So you don't need like the fanciest rig to go ride your bike a long distance. And you need some friends. Yeah. You need some friends. And a smile. And, and I was also saying like, no matter how fast you do a distance like this, it's still a really big distance. So totally um, set a goal for yourself and get out there and get it done, man. Do. Yeah, this was a good one, man. I'm, I'm feeling very good about it. And yeah, obviously it's a funny number 69, but yeah, it's a good distance. And thank you guys for jumping in on it. It was a lot of fun. And oh, yeah. thank you all for rolling with us on this one. We uh, actually sat down last night and planned out some how-to and instructional videos as well that will be coming in the future. If there are any skills or things that you are interested in learning, cruise down to the comments down below and let us know. I'd also be curious what your longest ride is that you've ever done. Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, cruise down, hit that like button. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you on the next one. We're out. Woo. Later.